Understanding Grounds for Divorce, a Guide for English Learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's a bit more serious but very important in both legal and everyday English. Grounds for Divorce. Understanding this phrase can help you navigate English conversations and media more effectively, especially those involving legal matters or personal relationships. So, let's break it down together. Grounds for divorce refers to the legal reasons or justification one spouse presents to file for a divorce from their partner. These aren't just any reasons. They have to be recognized by the law. Think of grounds as the foundation or the base on which the request for divorce is built. Just like building a house requires solid ground, filing for a divorce requires a solid reason that the law accepts. There are several grounds for divorce, and they can vary by country or state. However, some common ones include adultery. This is when one partner has had sexual relations with another person outside the marriage. Desertion. When one spouse leaves the other without agreement and without reason for a certain period. Cruelty. This can include physical or emotional abuse that makes living together unbearable. Irreconcilable differences. A broad category that covers situations where the couple can no longer get along, leading to the breakdown of the marriage. Each of these grounds requires proof before a divorce can be granted based on them. Knowing about grounds for divorce is crucial for several reasons. It helps in understanding the legal system and societal norms around marriage and divorce. For English learners, it's also valuable for improving comprehension when reading news, watching movies, or engaging in conversations where this topic might arise. Moreover, it can be a stepping stone to learning more complex legal and formal English terms. We hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and importance of understanding grounds for divorce in English. Remember, language learning is not just about vocabulary and grammar. It's also about understanding the culture and legal systems that shape the way we use words. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more helpful content. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.